Hey everybody. Today we're going to take a look at my Logitech optical mouse. Going to be doing a little fix to it. So anyways, this is the mouse that is normally plugged up to the Mid-Tower Deluxe. It has been used so heavily over the past, um, I want to say, probably four years or so. <laughs> been used so heavily that, um, had I not told you the brand, you wouldn't really be able to figure out what the brand is mouse is. And that's because the Logitech logo has long ago been worn off. You can barely see it. You might be able to just barely see it, but it's been it's been worn off for quite a while. If you take a look at the left mouse button, look how smooth it is right there. That is what happens over that many years of using your finger on it. It just literally wears down the plastic and smooths it out. Here's a look at the bottom of the mouse. You can see the wear on the on the plastic where it's got smooth over time around the edges. Now the issue with the mouse today is the scroll wheel is performing not all that great. Like when you scroll really fast, the page does not move very fast on your browser. And I'm noticing similar performance in zooming in and out in Google Earth, which is also done through the scroll wheel. So we're going to take apart this mouse and, and fix that issue. And this, this particular model of mouse is very common. I've actually seen these OEM'd by, um, well, they obviously they're made by Logitech, but I've seen them branded as HP mice and you know other brands like that. Um, you know, OEMs do like to use these, so I'm gonna get a small screwdriver and we'll take this thing apart. This mouse is pretty easy to work with. It's not too difficult to take apart. Just one Phillips head screwdriver is all it's really needed. Let's grab this one here. There you go. And we'll go ahead and open this thing up. And off it comes. It just pops open. Like so. So anyways, here's a look inside this mouse, and you can see the little circuit board. Here's your left click button, right click button, and center click. Now basically, the way this thing senses the scroll wheel is, you've got this LED here, which is, I think it's the same way as a remote control works. You get your, you get your, um, your IR here. IR LED and a receiver over here and the, the scroll wheel itself is right there and let's see if we can get it to pop loose today then again you need to be very gentle with this you don't want to break it now I think what happens is over time you know your your finger is going back and forth on this and you know your hands they have oil on them skin oil and over time, I think it starts to penetrate inside to this, to this scroll wheel, and it affects performance. Just had to pop it out of its track there. Not too much to it. Now, if you take a look here, I'm not sure if it's you know if it's grease off of a hand or what, but anyways, if you look in here, you, you can see it in there. You see these little bit lines that are in there? Basically the way this whole system works is that infrared watches these little lines and when it sees them move, you know, either this way or this way, it knows when you're turning <clears throat> the scroll wheel. But when its grease gets in there, it severely impacts performance. And I mean it severely impacts performance. So what we gotta do is we gotta wash this thing out. So off the off to the sink we'll go. Okay everybody, here we are at the bathroom sink. Here's the scroll wheel. As you can see it's really messy. So what I gotta do here is get this thing washed out really good. And obviously you wanna use some hot water for this. 
And I've also got some DC charging here as well. Put a little bit of that on there. And let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Now I've got this little syringe here that's actually used for cleaning out sockets in your mouth after you have your wisdom teeth pulled. I think it would be a good to repurpose the sink for this. It's got it full of water here. Let's go ahead and clean this thing out really good. out of there it's already looking a whole lot better a lot better I think it's good to go so now we'll just need to let it dry so let's wipe it good and dry before I put it back into the mouse and if you like what you could do is if you want to clean your mouse up in this case with this Logitech mouse you could just take that, that circuit board out and you could actually rinse out the plastic parts of the mouse provided you let them dry really good before you put them all back together but anyways if you, if you have a look here get you a close focus doesn't that look a lot better it looks a whole lot better so basically now what we need to do is just put this thing back together okay everybody got the mouse back together and here's how it looks This thing was a bit tough getting it back together and that's why I did not film that portion. It took me quite a while to get it back together because of a little bit of spring that attaches to the scroll wheel. Basically, you got a little spring that's attached inside of the top of the mouse under the two mouse buttons here and it rubs along the inside of this mouse wheel. This scroll wheel I mean. You may have noticed in the previous clip you may have noticed that there was some rubber teeth on the inside of this wheel that run along the inside under the outer part and a spring basically rubs against that to get the effect you may hear here yeah that basically it applies a little bit of tension to the um, scroll wheel to give it some yeah as I mentioned it gives it some tension so that way it's not freewheeling because if it freewheels, you slam the mouse, it will just unintentionally scroll, and the scroll performance was just hit or miss without that spring. So when you take this thing, if you take yours apart to clean the scroll wheel, pay really close attention to how that thing goes together because it can be a little tough reassembling. So just a heads up. But anyways, this thing's working great now. As you can see, it scrolls just fine. No problems at all. Scrolls up and down just like it's supposed to. No problems at all. And if we go into Google Earth, the scroll works just fine there. Basically what it would what it was doing prior is when you go to scroll, there were some parts when you're scrolling that the screen did not move. This is in the web browser, you would just stay put because the mouse was not seeing it. You were scrolling the wheel due to the buildup of grease in the IR path. So, anyways, cleaning out fixed that issue. Scrolls is fine. Anyways, hope you guys found this information helpful. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask, and thanks for watching.